So yeah, so basically, I'm not trying to take away the glory of Ian and the other guys' videos, live streams or whatever. But basically, uh, pretty much like in a sense, shouting out these videos uh, for you guys to watch. Yeah, like uh, yeah, that's a video with the uh, oh, yeah, with Axis. Um, they talk about the quantum computer and shit, and how it just like manipulates shit all at the same time. It's it does like nine thousand years of fucking uh, processing that fucking silicon binary chip you can only do in nine thousand years. Like it does this like like quicker than nine thousand years in the than the silicon chip. Like you know, it's like you know, in our lifetime basically, like less than a lifetime. Like a fucking I forgot like how long it takes to process nine thousand years yeah, for the quantum computer. Like uh, you know, compared to a silicon chip, you know, and I think like a few couple of minutes or like a couple hours. I don't know. But like yeah, you know, it basically maps out the consciousness of even all your your bodily self right now the shit it does a whole bunch of smart shit but yeah i know it's just six hours and I'm like i'm just four hours in watching it because i didn't i, was, I didn't join the stream i didn't know the stream was happening that day i would join in the conversation but whatever shout out to you in there whatever like uh, the we are awake tv we are awake news tv yeah no more people just call you in. it's just shorter and easier but let's hear uh th this shit uh this video here it basically like has a shorter version of what they're talking about but i find i find their conversation to be more interesting but yeah you know, it gives you this, this shit gives you some basic shit at least uh yeah to kind of know what the quantum talk it's about if you don't have any time to watch the six hour stream or like part of uh, a couple hours of the stream for the panel conversation and go ahead watch this shit but yeah shout out about these videos okay yeah, i'm just going to add one more video to this thing but, yeah not, not like a to link to it but like, i'm just going to add a yeah like an outro in a sense but like yeah basically these people uh you know, these elites these uh worshiping fucking plastic shit as they're like i know ai Oh, without the plastic, the metal fucking shit, you won't have AI and, and and people coding it, right? So, and like, there's another show like Psychopaths that like, you know, like basically these people have, you know, it's like it's secretly it's a brain, not an actual artificial intelligence. But who knows, like, maybe like that show was just being stupid. You know, as a false, a half truth. I don't fucking know. <laughs> maybe just like, you know, like, it's the brain, but like, what about the conscience? You know, like these people, they didn't have emotions in the show uh, for like the brains. They just judge things objectively. Eh, well, it's, maybe it's meant for like more like a metaphor than some predictive program and shit. Uh, who who fucking really knows? Yeah, I don't know. This Japanese dude, he's in it with the leads. He like you know, he, he just kind of like quit after fucking. Uh, you know, he just comes here now, here and there, out of nowhere. Just like yeah, he's not a big popular dude, biggest popular dude. He just kind of like you know, nobody talks about him. Uh, I forgot his fucking name. Uh, whatever. I was actually at a panel one time. Like uh, I went to his panel and he can sign my fucking uh, Blu-ray disc of the fucking series. <laughs> okay, whatever. But back to adult shit. Uh, well, it is an adult show though. Oh, yeah but how you guys have been out there like i don't know like it's just, it's so weird like yeah you know, plastic gods are gonna save us from devastation <laughs> in a sense yeah we like yeah but man like bro santos was on the money like you know like you know he, he probably doesn't know shit about quantum physics or fucking a quantum fucking degree or whatever the fuck you get i'll uh, probably i'm talking about my ass too right now but uh yeah, i don't know shit either. but uh it's basically like you know he used syncretism to like basically you know he predicted it like you know it was comparing zion to this fucking thing and metal shit you know zion was metal and I had gold, right? I had gold in it. And it'll save the world. There's some stupid shit. And that stupid Zionist fucking shit. Right. And he compared it to that shit to like, you know, the quantum computer. Like, God, I wish I remember the fucking video's name, but I just don't know. Like, he has so many fucking, he talks about everything for like 10 or like, all right, he talks about it. He talks about shit for like 10 hours sometimes. Or like, well, at most like five hours or on average. But like 10 hours when he really is into it. But I just watch Bro Sanchez and you'll eventually find the video. I bet you. Because like, he's just amazing. Like, you know, like a guy who was in the Bible belt. And went into like the hood and became a gangster and shit. And like, you know, you could like uh, find people who knew him from the past. And he, he just found out how to deal with syncretism somehow. Like, I don't really know what, what syncretism is completely. Like, it just seems so odd just connecting these cultures together. And you're, you're right. Like, he's fucking right with all this shit. Like, with holographic, like, you know, he'd be telling you shit, all this shit agenda is going on like a year before. And, and he just connects shit. You know, he's not just like, oh, well, all right, from, uh, you know, like from fucking the Freemason. Now he'd be connecting shit together, like, you know, from the past. Like, you know, just not out of his ass. Like, you know, he gives a good guess. Like, well, okay, guess, I know. Well, he bases it off of, like, you know, old ancestors of previous ancestors. But, yeah, but I don't believe, like, you know, his statement, like, you know, like, his ancestors are Chinese and fucking <laughs> Mesoamerican, uh, fucking, uh, or Inca Empire or some shit. Or whatever. Like, the Mayans or whatever. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe who knows, maybe there is some Mesoamerican, well, actually, originally lived here, you know, before the slavery. I don't get that, but, like, in the, the slavery, uh, but, uh, but he, he believes that the, the slavery shit was, like, a psyop. To make us worship whatever, uh, uh, Jesus and shit. Yeah, it's a cover story. They originally think like he thinks that you know it's all saved the slavery shit. I don't know. I, I'm not black. I don't want to make 
I, I don't want to undermine people's oppression. Okay. I'm Palestinian, so I don't want to undermine. Okay. So okay, talk to you guys later. This is like, but like, yeah, this last part is so funny. I heard you worship last week. You know what I really can't stand is when people always say this, this right here. I hear this every day. Hey, Kid Smooth, why are you obsessed over a piece of plastic? Yo, Kid Smooth, why are you obsessed over a piece of plastic, man? It's just plastic. It's just plastic. Is it really just a piece of plastic? Yes, Smooth, it is almost quite literally just a piece of plastic, which is why I'm concerned with you and anybody else who is corporate slaving for a company that doesn't give a damn about you. It is just a piece of plastic. The fact that you're comparing it to a home that requires a mortgage, that you're comparing it to an automobile that is required as almost a necessity in life to get to and from work, to pay that said mortgage, to live in that said home, to provide you shelter, to essential needs in life. The fact that you are comparing a piece of plastic to those things that actually have mortgage payments, auto payments, leases, not to mention that have required insurances and are exponentially more expensive than a piece of plastic is just dumb. I will see you in Weapon Wheel today and you better get ready for court because you're going to get roasted. There's that one guy, uh, Black Bond used to say, or Black Bond, um, plastic. Your fanboy's a plastic. Black Bond, whatever his name, yeah, Black Bond. He said you guys worship plastic. You do. And that's fucking sad.